All right, Chris Palmer is back. All right, I'm finding snack evidence. Which one of you? That's that's my chocolate. Ooh, no, actually that was mine. Uh, we flew 80991 out here to uh, Florida a couple days ago, so we're at Orlando Apopka Airport. Chris will be flying Cameron's plane with Cameron in there, of course. Chelsea will be flying this plane with me in here, and they'll both be flying in formation. It'll be pretty cool. So that way I'll be able to get some shots, uh, and then we'll kind of act as a crew environment and all that kind of stuff. What are you smiling about? It's gonna be too much fun. We're gonna go down to Vero Beach and grab some dinner. Do you still need us at this three o'clock? It's only like the best footage you've ever received of your plane, so whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. Airport via as found on departure, maintain 2,000 feet. You thought the same thing. There. Wait, what do you think about what we're going to do, Chris? I think it's going to be amazing. I think the timing is going to be perfect. It's going to be sunset as we're landing, and it's going to be memorable, and the food's going to be good. We're pointing the exact same cameras with the exact same microphones at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best camera. Hi. Um, what? <laughs> he just gave it to us. Airspeed's alive, everything's good. RPM looks good. Shark and uh, Chelsea give a wave to Chris. Engine's looking good and normal. We'll be landing at Vero Beach right after sunset. Hey Josh, see if you can get in like our 4.30, or our 3.30 position. So not quite in line with the wing, I'm just trying to line you up with those light beams coming off those lakes. Okay, cool. There you go. Yeah, a little more forward, a, a plane length. That's good. All right, 15 lower. Stop, stop. Dang, that's cool. He is probably getting some pretty amazing pictures right now. Someone just said they saw the Blue Angels fly over a popka. That's wild. It was bad. <laughs> Do you still need us at this 3 o'clock? It's only like the best footage you've ever received of your plane, so whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we're pretty free and clear here as far as altitudes go. You want to stay here or go up? I think 35 is pretty smooth if y'all are cool with it. I'm fine with it. You good? Yeah, we're good. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, so you're navigating to Vero Beach. So. Just around the restricted. Josh, you got something in your teeth. About a percent of the way, 2,000 feet, about two miles. What's the fib? Ben, the sun looks like a wet bump of the Okay, so you have a white sky on 2,000, a mile southeast of the Iceland Cosmetic area, heading southeast. Um, the new route, not better. Yeah, these are phenomenal. Can you tighten it up to us maybe at about our 4 to 5 o'clock so I can get the sun in the background? Yeah, just give me a more precise uh, location once I get close. I'll go uh, back behind you and then I'll come up on your... Uh, Right All right, uh, planning for a runway four arrival, uh, 3005 on the altimeter. 3005 will plan for four, thanks. And terminal ramp closed to aircraft with wingspan greater than 50 feet. Taxiway echo between taxiway delta and north ramp non-movement area. Crane one half nautical mile south of runway four approach end 140 feet AGL. Sun self serve fuel unavailable. Advise on initial contact, you have Mike. Three zero six, three zero zero five, and it's Mike. 
Yeah, we just got it. This doesn't suck. This does not suck. M Bureau Tower, Scott, 65746, left 2, 10 nautical mile uh, left of base, and we do have the field in sight. 65746, Roger, continue inbound. Roger, 746. Hi, right, Josh, I've got visual on the left here. Uh, you can break away as you please. They're just kind of letting us do whatever we want right now. Okay, I'll just kind of start to slow down once we're on maybe like a three mile base and then just let you go in. As long as we've got like a few hundred feet separation between us, we'll be good. Okay, we're on a nine mile base. Excuse now. 436, to fair beach ground, runway four, taxi via Charlie no, Alpha. Lost the last the second half of that. I just said we're on a nine mile base right now and, and we'll be turning in within approved for the left turn in, so. Roger. Air 65746 in flight to traffic, uh, 10 to 11 o'clock, 3 miles, opposite direction, a Cherokee, 2,600 feet indicated. 746 in flight. Josh, watch that traffic off your right. Look. We got him inside, I'm just on your wing. Roger. Air 65746 in flight, number 1, runway 4, clear to land. Clear to land, 74604. Got the Pappies in sight. Yeah. We're going to begin dropping back. Okie dokie. I'll help you with your checklist here. Yes, please. All right. Fuel selector is on both. We're all lit up. I'm going to go make sure full rich. We're pretty low. Pre-landing checklist is complete. You feel good? I feel great. Keep up. I am strapped in. Bumpy. Beautiful. Positive ground contact. And I'm closing carb. Air six five seven four six in flight safe crossing. parking. Uh, in flight's going over to uh, CJ Cannons for six five seven four six. Six five seven four six going over to CJ Cannons. Air six five seven four six in flight taxi via Echo Delta Charlie cross runway one two right at Delta. Echo Delta Charlie and cross. Uh, was it one two? Cross runway one two right. One two right. Delta seven four six. Are you gonna sneak in that slot? Yeah, we can push you back. Tower, uh, actually, I need to take a facility and find a road cross. Runway one two right. Hello, uh, road. Yeah, uh, awesome flight. Um, ready for some food. Well, there's a tiny bit of turbulence coming out of a popka, but then it really cleared out, smoothed out. Josh flew a little at the end, but I flew a lot. Cameron's airplane, as usual, looked great on camera. Got some spectacular shots with the sunset and the airplane in the background. So we're here at Vero Beach Airport in Florida. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean's just right over there, and. We've got a restaurant right here on the ramp, and we're just gonna leave the planes right here and uh, go grab some food. The flight over here was perfect at dusk. The lighting was perfect. The flying was perfect. She's such a fantastic stick and rudder pilot. And it was absolutely awesome. Welcome to Vero Beach. Let's eat. Filled up on food and flew both planes back to Apopka through the Orlando Bravo airspace and called it a night of flying. The next day, Cameron and Chris led us to another go-to spot that we hadn't been to yet, Cedar Key. Cedar Key is a really awesome little airport right on the Gulf Coast, and from what I hear, the town has tons of restaurants and cool places to explore. We didn't have too much time to hang out there on this particular day, but we will be back for sure. Any little airport, it's KCDK, uh, on the Gulf side of Florida, kind of out on some islands, on like a little peninsula out here. 2,300 foot long runway, but I actually measured it. Your landing distance is more like 17 or 1,800 feet, just because of the thresholds, but. Uh, really cool little airport. We haven't had time to go into town. We just landed here to have a formation destination and uh, landed, hung out at the airport for just a little bit. We're about to hop in the plane 
and head back into Orlando. So kind of a short day of flying. We've had a good time. It's an absolutely beautiful place to land. Chris and Cameron walking over here. Chelsea's back over here somewhere, but we're getting ready to go, right? Right. Cedar Key traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is gonna back taxi runway 23, Cedar Key. Back to both and then visual confirm on the boat. Okay. Look good? Everything looks good. Cedar Key, Skyhawk 80991 departing 23, Cedar Key. RPM looks good. Airspeed to left. 50. Cedar Key traffic, Skyhawk 80991 turning left downwind 23, going to be a departure to the east. Cedar Key climbing through 1100. We made our way back to Apopka and called it a day once again. Part of the joy of Sun and Fun for us is not just the event itself, but it's the excuse to come to Florida and do some flying during this beautiful time of year in this beautiful state. In the next video, we depart Apopka on the next flying adventure, airdrop across airplanes with our iPhones, take an airboat deep into gator country, then we finish the week off with some Major League Baseball and the Sun and Fun Expo. Keep an eye out for that next video, and then after that, we're going to roll into a much bigger series here on Aviation 101 that's being filmed right now. And I can't wait to start releasing those videos after this Sun and Fun series. Until next time, you know the drill. Stay happy, healthy, current, and most importantly, stay proficient. Get out and go fly, enjoy the weather, enjoy springtime, find some cool places in your local area and go explore them. We'll see you in the next video right here on Aviation 101. Fly safe.